Parents with nanny cams. What have you caught your babysitter doing? Story 1. My friends paid a family member to feed and water their dogs while they were gone on vacation for a week. They didn't. One of the dogs died. I removed the body because my friends couldn't handle it. It was their puppy, and the other dogs started eating it after it died. I wish I could erase that memory from my mind. Story 2. My sister caught her nanny leaving the house for an hour while her one-year-old slept. The girl said she had to sign a lease and didn't want to lose the apartment. Obviously, that was her last day. Story 3. When I was about seven, I was genuinely convinced for a while that my sister hated me. The typical, you were adopted, don't want to hang out with my little sister attitude. That was until this older boy started picking on me, and she punched him square in the face and gave him a nosebleed. I think sibling relationships are more complex than romantic ones. Story 4. That happened to my uncle. The babysitter was stealing the formula for her own child and giving him watered-down formula. My uncle got sicker and sicker. They fired the babysitter, but he eventually died. Story 5. My aunt's friend set up a nanny cam because she noticed that every time she changed her child's diaper, the child would start crying a lot more than usual. Turns out, when they watched the nanny change her diaper, she would use Clorox wipes if they were nearby instead of grabbing the baby wipes. Edit. For anyone wondering what happened afterward, they fired the nanny immediately, and the father became a stay-at-home dad. Story 6. That's horrible. Reminds me of the time when my six-year-old said, Those new wipes hurt my bum. We don't use wipes because the only thing you flush is toilet paper. Turns out he had found the lemon-scented cleaning wipes behind the sink, and Kid Logic dictated they must be for cleaning yourself. Story 7. We have a nanny cam, and we caught our nanny. Dancing with our baby making him laugh, and giving him kisses. She's the best, and the cameras gave us the peace of mind to know she really treats them like her own. Story 8. I was working for a family that had a 3-year-old and a 7-month-old. The toddler was down for a nap, so it was just the baby and me. I put on some Otis Redding and was singing to her, and her mom walked in the door as I was twirling her around, laughed my ass off. I was so embarrassed to be caught, but she thought it was the cutest thing. Story 9. I pay my neighbor to feed my stray cats in my garden when I'm away for days at a time. And the camera caught my neighbor trying to come in by pole, bamboo, vaulting once. He nailed it, amazingly. Story 10. My mom set up the camcorder when she suspected our babysitter was stealing, and then caught the babysitter stealing. She returned most of the stuff when my mom threatened to report her to the police. I think she should still have reported her anyway. Now she probably just went on stealing at other people's places. Story 11. Friends of ours don't have kids but have dogs. They were going out of town and told the dog sitter all about the cameras, including the one that is outside but sometimes picks up reflections and will actively notify them of motion. The dog sitter seemed to get it, but she forgot to convey that to her boyfriend, who came out and walked around naked quite a bit. Story 12. My dad rescued my brother one time by balancing him on the palm of his hand, the heel resting under the ribcage. Dad proceeded to make a dropping motion with a quick stop at the bottom, almost WWE style, and the sudden stop at the palm on his chest did a Heimlich maneuver, which resulted in the piece of hot dog he was choking on, smacking me in the face from across the kitchen table. Story 13. Caught the babysitter masturbating on her couch. The babysitter was, still, is my female cousin. I figured the best thing was just to say nothing, save the awkwardness. She did a fair amount. I then mentioned our house came by accident some months later, and her face dropped. I realized what I'd said, then casually threw it in that I never checked it again to save the awkwardness. Story 14. Watched her outside playing with my dogs. She was dog-sitting. Our yellow Labrador and golden retriever puppy started munching the blueberries right now off her blueberry bushes. They know damn well they're not supposed to get into that blueberry patch. We watched our dog-sitter run over to them and try to get them to stop. She then ran inside and ran back out with a bowl. She proceeded to race the dogs for the blueberries. Had to be one of the highlights of our trip. We came home to a bowl of blueberries in the fridge and two very guilty puppers. Story 15. Wish I had a nanny cam. My stepsister was watching my brother with disabilities for me. She would dump out the contents of his capsule meds and use them later. Didn't find out about it till he started having seizures constantly and ended up in the hospital for the second time. Story 16. We set up a camp to watch our puppy while we were out doing stuff. The craziest thing is that she found out how to get her out of a locked metal kennel 
and then we watched her sit by the door and wait for us to get home. Story 17. My best friend had a living nanny that had taken care of her all her life. She was like a part of the family. When my friend's mom got the second-gen iPad, she left it recording in her room because she wanted to get a candid video of her daughter playing. Well, instead, she got full-on porn of the nanny and her husband. Story 18. We have one to check on our dog. Every time the walker comes in, she half lays on her pup and just snuggles her and talks to her. Heidi is the absolute best, and it's just so wonderful seeing how much love she gives her little pup. Story 19. So, I was sitting for WAG for this nice couple. They allowed me to do whatever they had, so I had jerky and signed whiskey. Later that night, I was feeling buzzed and fell down their flight of stairs, and it was right in front of their dog treat cam. I hope they saw me and had a laugh. I know I would. Story 20. I'm glad nanny cams weren't a thing when I babysat 14 to 15 year olds. I say this because I came from a home of super controlling parents, controlling how they withheld food from me my entire life. If there had been nanny cams, I would have been caught red-handed gulping down cereal, soda, ice cream, etc. Story 21. I did catch my dog walker lying about her pre-pad visit. She never came to the porch cam, and the dog cam proved it. I only caught on because our new mailman left a box right in front of our door that didn't move until I got home. Story 22. My sister caught her nanny leaving the house for an hour while her one-year-old slept. The girl said she had to sign a lease and didn't want to lose the apartment. Obviously, that was her last day. Story 23. Our babysitter was full-on shotgunning beers in the middle of the day with our very newborn son at home with her. Fired her that day, and two weeks later, she actually asked us for a reference for another babysitting gig. Story 24. Mother-in-law telling my wife she should have married boyfriend X. He's an insurance agent and has new cars frequently. Then cut me apart, trying to convince her to divorce me. When I confronted my wife, she was immediately pissed at me. Story 25. I was recently watching my sister, two years old. She told me the next day that she had popped onto the live feed to see if I had put him down for a nap. And instead of seeing her sleeping toddler, she heard me roar and say, I'm going to get you. Heard toddler shriek and both of us laugh maniacally as I chased him down the hall. Made her day to hear us having fun. And he had a great nap after I tired him out. Story 26. We just bought a house from a couple who had two young children. They also had the locks on the kid's bedroom inverted. What we didn't realize was the door at the end of the hallway that went back out to the rest of the house was also inverted. On our second night in the house, we had opened the door far enough to bump the lock in on the handle, then closed the door before we went to bed. We totally locked ourselves out of the front half of the house. There are no doors in the back. Terrible fire hazard. Story 27. My colleague had one at home for testing purposes. We made them, and he noticed the water usage would spike when the babysitter was there. They had no idea what she was doing. The only way they could replicate the same amount of water usage was to turn every tap in the house on full bore. Very weird.